In today's video we're having a look at the Miniware Smart Soldering Irons. This is the version TS100 and the TS101, which is their latest version. We're not so much looking at the soldering irons today, but we're looking at a mobile ability to actually run it off a battery pack. There's quite a few videos showing the TS100 on battery packs like the Makita 18 volt batteries. I didn't really want to go down this route as there's no protection on the battery and my batteries are my livelihood. But what I've managed to find is the Anchor and it's the Anchor 737 power bank and this one runs either of the soldering irons perfectly. There is a newer version of the Anchor out now but you've got to be cautious that the newer version doesn't output the same amount of power as this older 737 does. You want to be using one that can produce 45 watts on the output and this anchor can do 140 watts on the output. With the 101 we have a USB slot on it as well as the old 5.5 2.5 jack on it as well. So the USB-C cable make sure that you're using a powerful enough USB-C cable as not all USB-C cables are made the same. The USB-C cable that comes with the anchor unit is perfect for running this soldering iron. We can just plug it in, plug it into one of the outlets on the 737 power bank and then set it to charge. And this heats it up extremely quickly. This is now heated up to 300 degrees Celsius. With this at this temperature, we can now basically use it as a mobile soldering gun quite happily. I will also leave a link in the description below to Amazon for this USB-C to 5.5 2.5 jack. Now this one can plug straight into the bottom of the new 101 and plug into the outlet and it powers up perfectly and then charges straight back up again at full, full speed. The other advantage is the TS100 which is the older version. We can also use this lead in this one and then power it straight back up from 25 degrees. That's now at 100 degrees, 200 degrees and now it's ready to go. And this melts the solder perfectly. If we bring in a cable, which I've already put onto my arms, we can heat the cable up. And there we go, it's just soldered that cable perfectly. It's a nice clean, clean solder. And we can take this anywhere without it being connected to the mains. I've been waiting for a, at least a year and a half to find this battery that will actually run this happily. And I'm very pleased to say that the Anker 737 battery pack runs either the TS100 and the TS101 which allows you to take it out on site and use it without plugging into 240. I hope this quick review has been helpful for someone. I'll leave the links in the description below where I purchased both the cable and the battery pack from Amazon. Thank you for watching and subscribing. Have a good week.